So then, it's time for the community notice board. It's the news that you send to us. If there's something we could mention, then please do get in touch, but give us plenty of notice. Yes, and we'll give you those all important contact details in just a few minutes time. Now, let's, let's get cracking. The right. Haven in Wolverhampton have been in touch to tell us about their big quiz night on Wednesday 20th of September. Mm, it's all about the witty team names and obscure knowledge in the Haven's first quiz night. Now, do you think you have what it takes to win? Well, they've got prizes and a raffle. It all takes place at Himley Cricket Club. So for further details, please do give them a call on 01902 904 677 or email give at havenrefuge.org.uk. Yeah, it's a good course. Do you, are you any good at quiz nights? That's why I'm on this show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Erdington Court Bowls Club is staging its annual Open Day on Saturday the 7th of October ahead of the winter season. Flat Green or Lawn Bowls is one of the sports forming part of Birmingham's bid for the Commonwealth Games in the 2022 and the club is hoping that some of its newer members may be good enough by then to qualify. Definitely not me. You reckon? Not me, no. Yeah, you've got to throw a ball and <laughs> knock some skittles over. I can throw a ball, but not for that. <laughs> Let's hope we get into, uh, you know, 2022. Now, they're oh, aiming okay. to recruit 10% extra members this winter and to boost uh, the uh, competitive squads. Great stuff. The court is based off Goosemore Lane, not Goose, Goosemore Lane, and is the largest of its kind on the north side of the city. Yeah, the open day is to be opened by the Lord Mayor of Birmingham and Southern Coldfield Councillor Anne Underwood. Local MP Jack Dromey and councillors will also be attending on the day. There will be plenty of opportunities for visitors to try their hand under the watchful eye of club coaches. There we go, we could get better by <laughs> doing that, yeah. Do it on the low down, go on. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so for more details, you can uh, call 0121 373 2440 or maybe have a look at the website, which is www.erdingtoncourtbowlsclub, or one word, .org .uk, or look them up on Facebook. That was a mouthful. It was a bit. It was a mouthful. Now, do you like a nice bit of art? I do, actually, yes, I do. What yeah. type? Um, I love a beautifully coloured picture. I like looking at myself in the mirror. Do you know what? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> what do you... All the makeup I put on every day is a piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> How do you answer that? Anyway, in this case, a piece of work by Yang Fudong, one of the uh, leading figures in China's contemporary art world and independent cinema, will go on show at Wolverhampton Art Gallery next month. The Nightman Cometh is one of the few single channel projections created by Yang, and it will be on display at the Litchfield Street Gallery from Saturday, October 14th until Sunday, December the 3rd. Mm. Now, the Nightman Cometh unfolds in a snow cover landscape where an injured warrior in ancient Chinese armour is followed by three ghostly figures from different times and historical backgrounds. Slight hint there of um, Hamlet. I do like the ghost oh, figures nice. there. The film is free and runs for just over 19 minutes. So if you like that sort of thing, then please just look up the Wolverhampton Art Gallery to find out a little bit more. Does sound interesting, yeah. Now sticking with the world of art, young people from Sandwell have been busy during the summer creating contemporary artwork to go on display at uh, Birmingham's Icon Gallery. Children from Blast Youth Club in Winsbury <laughs> took part in a series of workshops working in partnership with Icon Gallery and the Sydney Nolan Trust. Mm. Beautiful. The workshops involved uh, young people working with artists to learn new skills and produce their own works of art, with some being displayed at the Icon Gallery in Brindley Place. The exhibition is part of a summer-long programme at the Icon Gallery dedicated to Sir Sidney Nolan to celebrate the work and legacy of the artist and to mark the centenary of his birth. Now, workshops took place at various locations, including the Icon Gallery's Slow Boat, which has been on loan to them from Samwell Council for the past three years. Icon Gallery plans to work with young people in Sandwell in the future as part of the ongoing youth program with local budding artists as well. Now we've got to do it. Blast! <laughs> you Blast did Youth it. Club. Uh, it's based in Wood Green Road. It runs sessions for young people from 6 to 8 every Wednesday evening. So for further details, you can email youngpeople underscore services at sandwell.gov.uk. And have a blast. Blast. Did it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwell Council is piloting a course with Sandwell College designed to support newly identified carers. I used to be a carer, so oh, really? yeah, helping them to gain confidence and take steps to improve their own health and well-being. The free sessions provided by public health officers will be held at the college's West Bromwich campus and they aim to equip anyone providing unpaid care for a family member or loved one with a range of skills at the start of their caring journey. Beautiful. Mm. The bespoke course will be run over five sessions on a part-time basis, covering essentials such as first aid and safeguarding awareness. A good idea. Now, information and advice will be available about benefit entitlements and preparing for a carer's assessment, plus interactive presentations from local support agencies. So, if you are a carer or work with local carers, contact Sunny Patel, Healthy Aging Project Manager, Public Health, for more information about the course. Email Sunny 
underscore Patel at sandwell.gov.uk or just give him a call at 0121569 5172. Do you recommend that sort of thing? I was a carer and mm -hmm. I think it's one of the most unrecognised and um, most privileged jobs as well because you're taking care of people and sometimes you don't get a thank you enough. So mm -hmm. thank you to all the carers across the West Midlands for doing a wonderful yes, job. You. Next, the 100 mile Velo Birmingham closed road cycle event is coming through Bearwood and Albury on Sunday the 24th of September, which is my birthday. I will, I'll, I'll try to remember, remind me. It'll start and finish on Broad Street, Central Birmingham. Uh, more than a million pounds is expected to be raised for good causes, including the official charity partners, Alzheimer's Society, NSPCC, Cure Leukemia and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital Birmingham Charity. Fantastic. The fully closed route will take cyclists on a memorable journey from city to country, passing through Worcestershire via Sandwell and Dudley, plus a 20 mile section in the picturesque county of Staffordshire. Before finishing on Broad Street, riders will then head into the Barclay Card Arena for post-ride celebrations. That yeah. sounds beautiful. It does, yeah. I just can't ride a bike, that's all. Can you not? <laughs> oh, it's dead easy. Um, in Sandwell, the route goes along the A456 Hagley Road and Hagley Road West in Bearwood and Albury, which will be closed. Also, the route takes cyclists through the Staffordshire towns and villages like Kinver, Wumban and Treasel, passing famous local landmarks, including Storton Castle, Kinver Edge and Highgate Common. You used to go there when I was little. I am Brilliant. so happy you had to read that, not me. So riders <laughs> will also pedal through Drotwich Spa and join with the A448 in Worcestershire. You had the easy one. <laughs> Cyclists taking on the gruelling challenge will receive plenty of support along the way, as well as family and friends who are joining forces with local communities to cheer them on. And we're cheering you on, everybody. The riverside town of Broodley is planning to stage a family festival while the Hales Owen in Bloom Committee is preparing a painted bike display around its town centre. Now, that will look good. I like Beardley, yeah. The Wolverley Beer Festival is also getting behind Velo Birmingham as the Gardener's Arms, which prepares to throw a party for locals. Now, extensive road closures will be in place throughout the day, so to find out about the areas which might be restricted, please have a look at velobirmingham.com slash the route road closures. Let's just have it at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. That's quite a mouthful. Do you know, you look like a robot <laughs> back in the 80s and doing all this business. <laughs> and finally, do you love to sing? Oh, I yes. knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I've heard you sing it in the office. Maybe you want to develop musically and in confidence? Well, yes I do. Your confidence is high enough <laughs> with your singing, it's brilliant. Uh, well, Coventry and Warwickshire Gospel Choir are recruiting. Might be my opportunity to go into the spotlight now. Absolutely. It's open to anyone over 18, so yes for me. They'll practice weekly at Hearsall Baptist Church Hall in Earlsdon. So for more information, you can sing your way to this website, which is www.cwcospelchoir.org.uk. I'm so glad you had that line, <laughs> so glad. And that's what we found pinned to this week's Community Notice Board. If you know about something we could tell people about, such as my singing, why not get in touch and give us at least a week's notice? Tell the world, tell the world. She'll be on top of the box. <laughs> no, she can't. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, you can email news at madeinbirmingham.tv. On social media, look us up at Made in Birmingham TV or use the hashtag Birmingham News or even the hashtag Weekend Magazine. So many ways to get in touch. So to hear ways. this beautiful song, you're spoiled for choice, everybody. Mm. <laughs> And we'll have more for you at the same time next week, including maybe more singing. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>